Okay, so things are moving along pretty fast. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and tip and gloss. What that means is basically we're going to gloss his nails. So we are at the finish line, basically, almost at the finish line with our littlest Steven silicone kit. And the last time I saw you, I told you that I had done some work on his lips. And I really like these lips so much better. They're not quite as bright. And they look much more natural and they match skin skin tone much better I think that his matting was done pretty well especially for a baby that gave me so much problems so I am just really happy about the way he turned out what do you guys think We did go back and we mixed <clears throat> something more like a, a flush tone. Maybe more like this darker flush tone. And we just kind of touched up those lips right there. So let's take a look, a complete look at everything that we did on our doll, on our, our little baby. So here is that straight leg of his. And just a little bit of things that could be brushed off, but we may have to give him a, one more bath. This time with maybe baby shampoo. Look at that. Look at that wrinkly, wrinkly straight leg. And that's where I saw some veinings. Here's the bottom of his feet. Some little baby bruises there. The white toes. And the color. So there he is. Now here is the bent leg. Um, there is the bottom of the feet and our tipped toes, tipped and glossed. So even though we matted, we came back, re-glossed where we wanted things to be slightly glossy. Oh, and let's see. 
um there was a part on the that was on the arm okay so there's one little leg okay now this is the arm where i came back and i covered the um that little mark that was left by the zip ties And the, the, it looks like the skin is raised there. And you absolutely can take sandpaper and sand that down, or you can paint over it until it's smooth. But you know what? We're gonna keep him like this. I like the uh, color here. And you absolutely could have taken your red and put it here and, you know, here. But I took yellow yellow is a tone that I feel is very much a part of being an ethnic color especially his color I have a lot of yellow tones in my hands and we put yellow here and here and we tried harder <laughs> to darken the knuckles but we had a little bit of problem with our kit where I actually contaminated it so it did not take the paint initially at first until after I did several washes. So I had to rewash and um, peel off the paint, the old paint, um, more than once. It took a long time to do it, something you definitely don't want to start out doing. And here is the final hand, nails tipped and glossed. A little blushing here, a little yellow in here. I did put a little yellow on the hand, a little yellow here. So I am basically very happy with the way he turned out. So our next step is to do eye eyelashes and we're just going to do some sparse sparse eyelashes on little Stephen. so what we're going to need is some type of pillow or pillows to place him on you can place him on this and this already has hair on it but this rooting pillow has a satin side too so maybe we'll use that um, or you can use something like this, you know, if you were to uh, want to set them up, maybe, I don't know, but we're not going to use this. We're going to use this. Okay, now we have to figure out what hair. I've already done that part. I've decided that we're going to go with baby brown and I use, I love baby locks baby brown hair so it, it comes like this it's wavy baby locks baby brown wavy so I think that's gonna look very nice on this baby and I just use um, let's cut off a little bit for his um, eyelashes you don't need a lot And then um, also I'll use like a plate so I can clip, make my little clippings and keep them there. Let's move, move him out the way for a minute so I show you everything I'm going to use. So we're going to use this hair and this is long. I'm thinking whether I want to cut it in half or not. We'll just leave it like that. The reason I'm, I'm, we know his lashes are not gonna be long, but the rooting needle is gonna push that hair in so deep and then I'll clip it the way I want it. So we'll just leave that for now. Also, we're gonna want a water bottle, just in case, I don't know for certain. We'll need a, a toothbrush, a soft bristle toothbrush. And we'll need scissors trimming you 
may need some Q-tips. I mean Q-tips. You may need these um, tweezers. Then we'll need a rooting needle. Uh, the type of rooting needle that I use has barbs on it. I don't know if you can see that. And the barbs capture the hair when you're pushing it into the vinyl. So that's the kind I like, is some type of barbs. All right, so let's get started. I think I will cut this in half. All right, here's the theory. I'm gonna push it in as far as this. So the hair will be at least this long. And I think we'll achieve that. And then we aim for the line, place the hair, place the needle, place the hair, press it in. We'll see if something catches. I can't see if I've caught anything. I see one little hair here. I'm gonna do the edges first. Sometimes you just have to get into a, a, a rhythm. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let come in this cloud all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Do you want to use your brain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder if you happen to push a lash into the lid above the line just use your tweezers to pluck it out also you may want to uh, just see how much you have the water helps to make it more visible and also the toothbrush helps to get rid of the strays from the silicone If 
if I can get this in frame, you'll be able to see when you turn upside down how much of the uh, lashes that you have. I don't know why it is that way, but you can see the lashes much better. Also, you'll notice little silicone balls up here. As you pull the needle out, it collects some of the silicone. Sometimes your eyelashes and your baby's hair looks like it's just riddled with dandruff. Not that this is a tutorial, but the way that my needle points is the direction that the hair will fall into. So I'm doing the middle and I want the hair to be straight. When I do the sides, if I want the hair to lean to the side, then it's, so will my needle. I want to compare each eye to make sure one doesn't have more lashes than the other. I'm also wanting to make sure that the spacing is correct. If I notice that there's kind of a hole uh, that needs to be filled, then I'm gonna concentrate on that area. I notice that there's a space here that needs to be filled, so I'll concentrate on that area. You may have noticed that the hair that I'm rooting has uh, gotten thicker, and that's because I like to root with a lot of hair. It seems to catch more, but it's, it's really your preference.
when you clip um, just clip it the way you like it I like a curve and I think the center should be the longest some people think that the outside edge should be the longest but when I look at a baby's eyelashes uh, it looks really natural when the center is the longest and of course by the nose is the both the thinnest and the shortest <laughs> I decided that we're not going to give Steven a full hair. We're going to just give him a teeny little bit at the top. See, it's just like crayon works. Mm -hmm. But this chalk does. Okay. And we're going to give him a bit of a swirl. My preference is to root around the entire circumference of the area that I marked out and then I'll fill that area in.
When you're doing directional rooting, you have to keep in mind the direction that you want the hair to flow in, and you have to turn the doll's head so that you get that direction. have completely rooted Stephen the way I intend to root him. He's not going to have hair all the way around. I wanted to make a neat hairline here. Uh, this is pretty good. And his hair is gonna be swept basically like that. So we're just gonna even it <clears throat> a little bit. Actually, I'd like to go like this. Let's use our toothbrush. professional hair cutter but I kind of know what I like to see and I kind of know that this part is a bit shorter
Now we're just gonna wet it down. We, we're gonna wash him, wash his little limbs again. I just want to get away from Here we have him, little silicone Stephen, looking so fresh with his nice haircut. We have one last final part to watch, and that is assembling this little baby. See you next time.